Maaseh chapter 7 And the high priest said, Is this so? And he replied, Men, brothers and fathers, listen. The Elohim of esteem appeared to our father Abraham when he was in Aram Naharaim, before he dwelt in Haran, and said to him, Come out of your land and from your relatives, and come here into a land that I shall show you. Then he came out of the land of the Kazdim and dwelt in Haran, and from there, after the death of his father, he removed him to this land in which you now dwell, and he gave him no inheritance in it, not a foot of it, but he promised to give it to him for a possession and to his seed after him, when as yet he had no child. And Elohim spoke in this way, that his seed would be sojourning in a foreign land, and that they would be enslaved and mistreated four hundred years, and the nation to whom they shall be enslaved, I shall judge, said Elohim, and after that they shall come out and serve me in this place. And he gave him the covenant of circumcision, and so he brought forth Yitzchak and circumcised him on the eighth day, and Yitzchak brought forth Yaakov, and Yaakov brought forth the twelve ancestors. And the ancestors, becoming jealous, sold Yosef into Mithraim, but Elohim was with him and delivered him out of all his afflictions, and gave him favor and wisdom before Pharaoh, sovereign of Mithraim. And he appointed him governor over Mithraim and all his house. Then a scarcity of food and great distress came over all the land of Mithraim and Kenaan, and our fathers found no food. But Yaakov heard that there was grain in Mithraim, and he sent out our fathers the first time. And at the second time Yosef was made known to his brothers, and Yosef's race became known to the Pharaoh. And Yosef sent and called his father Yaakov and all his relatives to him, seventy-five people. And Yaakov went down to Mitzrayim and died, he and our fathers. And they were brought over to Shechem and laid in the tomb that Abraham bought for a price of silver from the sons of Hamor, the father of Shechem. But as the time of the promise drew near which Elohim had sworn to Abraham, the people increased and multiplied in Mitzrayim, until another sovereign arose who did not know Yosef. Having dealt treacherously with our race, this one mistreated our fathers, making them expose their babies, so that they should not live. At that time Moshe was born, and he was well pleasing to Elohim, and he was reared three months in the house of his father. But when he was exposed, the daughter of Pharaoh took him up and reared him as her own son, and Moshe was instructed in all the wisdom of the Mitzrites, and was mighty in words and works. And when he was forty years old, it came into his heart to visit his brothers, the children of Israel. And seeing one of them being wronged, he defended and revenged him, who was oppressed, smiting the Mitzrian. And he thought that his brothers would have understood that Elohim would give deliverance to them by his hand, but they did not understand. And the next day he appeared to two of them as they were fighting, and urged them to peace, saying, Men, you are brothers, why do you wrong one another? But he who was wronging his neighbor pushed him away, saying, Who made you a ruler and a judge over us? Do you wish to kill me as you killed the Mitzrian yesterday? And at this saying, Moshe fled and became a sojourner in the land of Midian, where he fathered two sons. And after forty years were completed, a messenger of Yahweh appeared to him in a flame of fire in a bush in the wilderness of Mount Sinai. And Moshe, seeing it, marveled at the sight. And coming near to look, the voice of Yahweh came to him, saying, I am the Elohim of your fathers, the Elohim of Abraham, and the Elohim of Yitzchak, and the Elohim of Yaakov. And Moshe trembled, and did not have the courage to look. But Yahweh said to him, Take your sandals off your feet, for the place where you stand is set apart ground. I have certainly seen the evil treatment of my people who are in Mitzrayim, and I have heard their groaning, and have come down to deliver them. And now come, let me send you to Mitzrayim. This Moshe, whom they had refused, saying, Who made you a ruler and a judge? This one Elohim sent to be a ruler and a deliverer by the hand of the messenger, who appeared to him in the bush. This one led them out, after he had done wonders and signs in the land of Mitzrayim, and in the Red Sea, and in the wilderness forty years. This is the Moshe, who said to the children of Israel, Yahweh your Elohim shall raise up for you a prophet like me from your brothers, him you shall hear. This is he who was in the assembly in the wilderness with the messenger who spoke to him on Mount Sinai and with our fathers, who received the living words to give to us, and to whom our fathers would not become obedient, but thrust away, and in their hearts they turned back to Mitzrayim, saying to Aharon, Make us mighty ones to go before us, for this Moshe who led us out of the land of Mitzrayim, we do not know what has become of him. 
and they made a calf in those days, and brought an offering to the idol, and were rejoicing in the works of their own hands. So Elohim turned, and gave them up to worship the host of the heaven, as it has been written in the book of the prophets. Did you bring slaughtered beasts and offerings unto me during forty years in the wilderness, O house of Israel? And you took up the tent of Molech, and the star of your mighty one Kiun, images which you made, to bow before them. Therefore I shall remove you beyond Babel. The tent of witness was with our fathers in the wilderness, as he appointed, instructing Moshe to make it according to the pattern that he had seen, which our fathers, having received it in turn, also brought with Yehoshua into the land, possessed by the nations, whom Elohim drove out before the face of our fathers until the days of David, who found favor before Elohim and asked to find a dwelling for the Elohim of Yaakov. But Shelomo built him a house. However, the Most High does not dwell in dwellings made with hands, as the prophet says, The heaven is my throne, and earth is my footstool. What house shall you build for me, says Yahweh, or what is the place of my rest? Has my hand not made all these? You stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, you always resist the set-apart spirit, as your fathers did, you also do. Which of the prophets did your fathers not persecute? And they killed those who before announced the coming of the righteous one, of whom you now have become the betrayers and murderers, who received the Torah as it was ordained by messengers, but did not watch over it. And hearing this they were cut to the hearts, and gnashed the teeth at him. But he, being filled with a set-apart spirit, looked steadily into the heaven, and saw the esteem of Elohim, and Yehoshua standing at the right hand of Elohim, and he said, Look, I see the heavens opened, and the son of Adam standing at the right hand of Elohim. And crying out with a loud voice, they stopped their ears, and rushed upon him with one mind, and threw him out of the city, and stoned him. And the witnesses laid down their garments at the feet of a young man named Shaul, and they were stoning Stephanos as he was calling and saying, Master Yahashua, receive my spirit. And kneeling down, he cried out with a loud voice, Master, do not hold this sin against them. And having said this, he fell asleep.